like you release the music yeah you've got an album i do you've got an ep i do <laughs> so where did you where, i'd love to know i'd, I'd love, love to know, to know. Where, how did you start, oh, well how did you start writing music and how did you then start going oh i'm gonna start releasing this like professionally yeah. and you know what's your like story basically um so <laughs> i started playing guitar when i was like nine doing okay. like classical stuff cool. um so i used to actually be able to play the guitar now it's just like i mean i just heard you you <laughs> yeah. could definitely play that the was guitar. two chords <laughs> two chords more than i can play so. i was playing it thinking caitlin could do this definitely oh, maybe I, could. <laughs> I should do a cover of your song oh yeah <laughs> uh, g and c it's all you need um but yeah and then i started getting into writing when uh taylor swift started becoming Are like a safety? thing I was well I am yeah oh, but I was oh. no I still am but I was a hardcore Swifty as a yeah. child um was she like so, you were like one direct you know like at a certain age one direction when it, yeah. you know it was like the thing or whatever yeah, that she was, was your my one direction yeah brilliant. love story um 
came out and I was like, yeah, I want to try that. And I remember the first song I wrote, actually, and I ran into my parents' room and I was like, listen, listen, listen. Aww. It was naff, obviously, but they were like, okay, like record it on the camera and I can still remember how it goes, but I'm not going to oh sing that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, because it's crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I started writing from, yeah, 12-ish, obviously, not great stuff. And then, so the first song I wrote, the song, the EP is called Let Me Go. And... It was about like my first crush as a kid. And there was the first song I wrote where I was like, okay, th- this is actually all right. People might actually want to listen yeah. to this. So I wrote a couple of stuff. And I, I don't even really remember because when I started out, I didn't have any music friends, like didn't know any musicians. Or really? Did Not even people stuff. like in school or whatever? No, just, nothing at all. Really. So I don't really know how I worked that out, but I did. You just um, gone into it. Yeah. And I did the EP like, Banged it out in like an hour. Did you? The whole EP? Yeah, I was oh only like gosh. 16 and it was very stripped back. And yeah, but still, that's brilliant. Yeah, I was a one take wonder. But it's kind of like, I feel like if it hasn't gone terribly, I'm not going to risk it doing it again. I'm like, that's And also, fine, that's well, it, that's like brought it into now that we are so used to hearing, especially like female artists, like auto tune, auto tune, auto Like the, even like, yeah. even making your, your voice sound like a robot is like in yeah. now. So like when you actually hear somebody live and they may be slightly flat or you yeah, know yeah, yeah. I, I'm more interested if the artist's like actually telling the story of the song and like one of my favourite current YouTube clips um that I've been literally watching maybe every day. <laughs> yeah. Um is Lady Gaga singing the Maverick song Hold My Hand. She did it in this okay. award ceremony. Yeah. And by no means is it perfect at all. Yeah. Like I'm so sorry Lady Gaga, wherever you are. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> dead. It's not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> RIP. It's not it's not perfect by any means. Yeah. In fact, at some points I was like, gosh, she's really flat. But if you just watch the woman just give like Yeah, it's the emotion in there. Oh my gosh, like, it's so much better. Into it because I yeah. feel like if you are trying to be perfect, which I think I'm guilty of not trying to be perfect, but that holding back trying to sound good and focusing on trying to, you know, get all the notes like right and all that. Single, yeah. yeah, but all my stuff is written from the heart and it is all yes. emotional and I think when I do get into it which I'm finding easier with a band now because I have a bit more backing it's I was not say just like proper, just me it's like, like a bigger like, sound now yeah nice. so I can give it a bit more yeah you've got and yeah my voice there, might crack you? sometimes or like yeah it's not perfect kind of thing but I think the emotion for me is way more important and that's the reason I do music yeah is the writing and getting that across yeah and I hope it comes across but yeah, yeah I do feel like sometimes it's like that pressure to kind of well, you just make yourself small I think and be like yeah. okay I'm just gonna try and do like the like, perfect yeah the smiling. best I can but like yeah yeah just keep everyone going. yeah absolutely yeah yeah. So how about you what was your oh gosh journey well <laughs> I've always done music like from uh, probably singing coming out the womb at some point or whatever <laughs> Um, that's the joke, isn't it? I was yeah. singing when I popped out, yeah. but I probably was. Um, no, I've always done music. I, I, I initially wanted to go and study. I did music all the way through school. Yeah. We were just chatting to the, the guys at Cobra now, like I was doing brass bands and like okay. orchestras. And, but you I was do acting as well, don't you? Yeah. And yeah. I always used to go to stage coach and like yeah. all of those things, you know, dancing. I was just trying to like yeah, do everything to see what I liked. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of realised quite early on that I liked all of it and I couldn't choose. <laughs> Well, wow. lucky you've so been good like, at all of it. Well, I don't know. Hang on. I don't know if I was good at all of it, but I enjoyed it. That's a very well, different Well, you're thing. definitely good at singing anyway. I can vouch for that one. But, uh, but yeah, I I picked up my first bit of drumsticks when I was, I think, about 11. I went to hmm. see my mother's uh, Christmas concert in her school. Yeah. She was a teacher. And one of the other teachers... Um, a female, yes, Yay. was just keeping <laughs> forth to the floor on a drum yeah, kit for yeah. the kids to sing some some hymns or whatever. And I was just sat there and there was this like red drum kit. I remember it vividly. You know, like, like some cool people memory. can't really remember. I'm like, that was the moment the that I was time, like, yeah. I need to have a little go at drums actually. Yeah. And my mother let me go on after the show because I was like absolutely blown away by this thing yeah. that she was like hitting. And I got on there and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a drummer now. Oh, and then wow. for, for years, like I... Yeah. I um, got taught by um, Blevin Howells to begin with and then Mark Hibbard and I had all these brilliant teachers Sarah and Kerry they yeah. were my like teachers in orchestra mm-hmm. so I did more like orchestra stuff and I was just like I'm going to be a drummer like yeah. that's what I'm going to be yeah. but then I also was really sad that I was like well I want to sing as well and yeah I, wanna... I guess singing and drumming don't really go hand in hand well they don't but I'm, I get I'm trying anyway, my best but... to, to change people that, that sing when they're drumming just like blow my mind well that's what I try and do but, but obviously like now that I'm kind of professional what does that even mean yeah um I'm doing it properly yeah. it is really difficult to get the kind of budget and the right venues that are willing to go 
let's actually mix you on a drum kit whilst yeah, you're singing. Yeah. Let's you can do that. That's you know Phil Collins is a thing. Yeah. You know Karen Carpenter. There's so oh, many. I've definitely so seen many. it. Yeah. It's just yeah. mad that. But, but yeah. it's difficult at my level now. I'm finding that's a bit like oh, and I want to start doing yeah. band stuff as well. Yeah. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I went to the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama mm-hmm. to an open day for drums. It's not, sorry, oh. for opera singing, because I was singing oh, classically then. Okay. And then they, just about the time that the woman was taking us around the building going, yeah. um, yes, yeah, so it's about seven years to train your voice properly. I was like hearing the drums coming from the basement. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that looks fun. So I'm I just going to... Yeah, literally. So I went back, I think the following year, and I did an open day for the drumming mm. course and got terrified and was like, I'm not that good. Can't be doing that. Then... Yeah. When I was on that open day, I saw the, well, they were the Yaz actors at the time. It was a Sunday. They do Young yeah. Actor Studio. And they were all at, like out on lunch, having a nice time. And okay. I was like, oh, I could just do like acting and just keep the music going in the background. So I did that yeah. for ages. Eventually I guess auditioned. Go hand in hand as well, I guess. It, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So technically now I'm an actor musician. Like that's my oh. title. Um, and I do loads of like theatre work more than anything. But I think now, now that the theatre work's kind of like settling and I kind of, really luckily know mm. what I've got coming up for a good few months yeah, yeah. it's kind of allowed me especially with like budgets for recording and stuff like yeah. that I've kind of been able to go okay I can focus on music a bit now as well yeah. and I know when my breaks are so I can so much plan to the, yeah. yeah so then yeah it's just in the pandemic it was I was in London I didn't have any work obviously because the theatre shut yeah. we all graduated <laughs> from drama school like <laughs> Um, so I was like, oh, well, now's my chance to release a pop song. I was like, I'm just going to oh, release a pop fun. song just to see if I can release a song and see yeah. how it does. And the response to it made me go, oh, yeah, I I could be doing this. It's like, just this a bit is validation a thing. in this. It's like, like okay. oh, that is decent. Somebody's yeah. singing that in their car on the way to it. That's cool. Yeah. Somebody's just messaged me to say it's on their running playlist. I'm like, yeah. great, let's do that. That's fine. So, um, yeah, I, I'm an actor musician, but yeah, all of my stuff at the moment, I've just been focusing on singles. Okay. But I have got an exciting year coming up with like yeah. re-releasing some old music that I've got the rights ah, to. Amazing. So I'm trying to like revamp it, yeah. which is going to be really cool. So I did that with, um, yeah, my first EP has got Households on it, which is one of my favourite songs that I've written to. It's like the OG song that like, song. all my friends loved at the time. And yeah. It was the one they all asked me to play, like yeah. kind of thing. And even when you write stuff after this, they're like, yeah, but it's still really <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, like, exactly. I like know, my but... album launch, I was like, I've got to get that in there. Like yeah. it's still, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, because I did like such a stripped back version of it for the EP. I was like, oh, it's just not, I feel like I hadn't reached its full potential. That's so it, yeah. I, with the album, it was put on a B-side for a single. Nice. And I was like, let's just revamp it. Let's do it, like full band kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and it was so nice to like, see that come into life. I was like, ah, that's what it was supposed to be. Like, but it, so I think nice. it's quite Sometimes nice you need the time and the space from a song. Yeah. And then when you go back to it, you're like, this is definitely what it was meant to be. But yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that'll do. And then, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's and because nice. I think I hadn't done much... Like, obviously, I'd never done band stuff before. That's only been the last year. And um, if I was recording, I was just kind of like, you guys know what you're doing. You just do your thing and I'll do mine sort of stuff. So it's been a bit of a strange journey because I didn't really know exactly what I wanted or, yeah. like, what I could do. And a band do. does change your sound, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Not definitely. maybe the genre so much, but, like, the sound. Well, that's the thing. I'm always like, oh, I don't know what genre it is. And I always say, like, kind of indie folk, like, or acoustic, you know. Oh, and gorgeous. then we did these singles with the band that we play live now from the album and they're like the more upbeat ones because mm-hmm. I was like they're going to work best with the band and I'm like are we like indie rock here like what's going on <laughs> like, change genre what <laughs> yeah it's so weird but um yeah so it's a lot bigger sound than I yeah. expected but it's been so much fun yeah like, and it's nice to yeah. I, I always used to say to people because I because I started off in the indie duo the folk duo yeah then I went to drama school and I was like the I was in an indie rock band called Big Wednesday oh, with fun. my mates and it was so much fun. <laughs> I feel like I know. Ooh. Um, I'll send you a link after. It's great. We've got like three songs that we actually paid to record yeah. properly and I'm so proud of them. Like, <laughs> and it was like such a cool thing. something in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> so then I, then I did Big Wednesday and then obviously the pandemic happened and we'd met in drama school. So we were all like Scotland. Yeah. Way, we, oh, and we were like, yeah. this isn't going to, we can't do this. There's no gigs yeah. open. Like, so it, unfortunately, I think the timing of that was just off. But yeah. the music was great and we wrote really well together and we're all still friends. So that was really nice. Nice. You can always get um, back in, I guess. Yeah, you? maybe. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm doing my own stuff and I really want to get a band. But it is weird, isn't it? Because mm. what I, the point I was trying to make there is that doing it on your own is great to begin with yeah. because there's almost a freedom in going, I, can't, I haven't got to rely on somebody else. Yeah, you're I haven't got to pay and... anyone else, which is great. Yeah. I can just do it myself <laughs> yeah. or whatever. But then having the band for the times where you're 
unpacking or packing a car. Yes. So when you're, yes. you know, getting ready to go to a gig or when you're doing pictures mm-hmm. and stuff, or any self promotion, which we have to do now because yeah. it's like it's free and you might as well get on oh, socials and, yeah. and spread your music around. It takes so much time. Though, it does it? take yeah. so much time. Doing it with your mates is way more fun yeah. than doing it on your own. Like yeah. I challenge anyone to be like, Literally. it's fine being a solo artist with a backing track. It's like, no, no. Actually yeah. being able to like jam on stage with yeah. another musician that's your friend and is brilliant. Yeah. There's nothing. And it they play nice your song. It. Oh, it's but just I think like... the main thing for me was like, I didn't realise probably how lonely it was to a degree. Like, even though like the music community is great and everything, yeah. you know, and everyone's always friendly and yeah. chatty and all that. Yeah. But, you know, and sometimes my mates would come, but most of the time they wouldn't be able to make it. Yeah. And I was travelling to places I'd never been before, didn't late, know anybody. Late, driving late and yeah. like all that stuff. And yeah. it was then that long drive home, coming home to a dark, shut up, empty house yeah. and just sitting there like still buzzing With from the adrenaline gig, and you're just like, like, I can't go to sleep, but I also don't know do what to now? do. Yeah. It's bad, isn't and it? And being able to share that with somebody and be like, okay, guys, are we all ready? Like, we're, you know, either travelling down together or yeah. just keeping in touch with we'll each other. We're getting McDonald's and, on the way home. Yeah. I'll drop you home. Yeah, it's nice, And just being it? able to share that same experience. Like, even though if there's like a couple of solos, obviously, like I said, we'll all chat and we all get on and it's all nice. Like that. But to share the exact same show, like playing together and mm. having that experience together has been, yeah game changer yeah. you mentioned earlier i wanted to bring it up because it's interesting yeah um and also i love talking oh, to other females in the industry because <laughs> yeah. i'm just like what's your experience being? yes because we've all had those sound guys or we've all had those you know no yeah. offense but men sorry but it's true well, yeah <laughs> no other words assumed, for them oh yeah yeah, yeah that's true well there are other words for them but yeah um where you just like assumed uh you're or you're like you're put first on the bill and you know a, a male acoustic actor ever would be lost and you'd be like why wasn't I lost like what why why is there so much difference between like how we're all treated in the industry it's on my mind at the moment because of Annie Mack's statement that she's put out about the kind of me too not reaching boys club which is what is the industry and you mentioned earlier that it was um you were in a gig recently and there was you, you another woman walked in and you went oh and then you're like why am I yeah. surprised there's another female the artist thing. here like, like, I don't notice because I am like I said I'm just used to it like I run a lot of open mics obviously been to a lot like started off doing open mics yeah. and like, so for the most part everyone's really friendly and I get on yeah. with the boys as well like I've got plenty of guy musician friends and guy friends in general like yeah. that are all lovely to spend time with but it's not the same and I don't realize how much I miss that female company yeah. and that uh, female talent and presence until yeah somebody walks in the door and I go oh my god a woman yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that, and I think it naturally plays you against yeah. each other more because mm-hmm. you're like oh well I was the only female here and I'm I, yeah and then all of a sudden you're that. like this this three female artists and you start yeah. going oh but then you're like why I do I feel like that it yeah. should it shouldn't be like that at it all shouldn't. <laughs> and I think like obviously I don't compare myself to somebody of the complete different genre or no a uh, male artist in yeah. the same genre because it's like oh well we've got completely different voices you know yeah. completely different things and then if there's a woman in the same genre You're like, oh. but I feel <laughs> from my point of view anyway I find that quite healthy for me because I don't I don't see it as a challenge as such but it does make me think oh what are they doing like um <laughs> a Leary that's um coming on later I believe yeah um she did a show recently I played with her in Club I for Bat which Oh my god, I cried. Oh I my know. gosh, that's cool. It's the first time I yeah. played there and I was so excited. I literally cried when it's she asked me. It's such a brilliant venue just to but, go out in as well. It's brilliant. Yeah. And but she's such an amazing artist and like I see things that she's done like with her promotion and like she's so good with her social media and stuff like that. And I don't see that like for me, that's oh, what are they doing that I could start doing as well? Like how can yeah. I be better? Yeah. And it's kind of so that's how I see it for me. But yeah, it's just not enough for women yeah, anywhere. But like, the thing is, there are. I just don't think we're given the same opportunities. No. Or there seems to be some other thing that's attached to it. Or yeah. like I've just done, you're like, let's tick a box by getting a female on the... It's yeah. just like, why? We're yeah. just singers. Yeah. like <laughs> We're just artists. Just give us the same, exactly. the same platform. And I think, obviously, it is quite ingrained. And it definitely comes from a long time ago and it's definitely not changed <laughs> yeah. in a lot of ways yeah um but I think that's also ingrained in us as well like we're I feel like sometimes oh you know I, I can't do that gig like I'm not good enough for yeah. that gig or I can't play with those people or because, as a musician do you are you ever made yeah. to feel like you're not your skill yeah, set no, this isn't a, as yeah good like especially if bloody hell being a female drummer mm-hmm. it's like yeah I bet oh Everyone's my like, gosh oh that's sweet oh my <laughs> god do you need help carrying out the car no I'm actually fine yeah or I sometimes I'm like yeah I do but day. not because I'm a woman just no. because I'm tired yeah and I've done this three times today yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah or like it's like oh I'm your snare's not tuned properly it's like actually it's tuned to how I want it to sound yeah. and that's my why shush I've had <laughs> <laughs> I had um, a couple years ago I had somebody try and plug like 
was like, oh, don't worry, I'll get that for you. And like coming at like this older guy and I was like, excuse me, like I do this yeah. as a job. And I find as well, sometimes hosting open mics, um, so I'm not massively <laughs> technically inclined, but yeah. I know my equipment, I know what I'm doing and I can also hear it. So if there's something off, you know, I can change that. Yeah. And I do get older guys particularly sometimes coming over and being like, oh, you know, I think this is awful. You need to do this or this is what I would do. And I'm like, I've but done this like, before. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Everyone's enjoying it. Everyone's yeah. comfortable. I always check the musicians happy with the sound, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. You know, you're good, sweet. Like, if you need anything, let me know. Yeah. But if you know, uh, and I'll try my best yeah. because as a female, sometimes <laughs> if you like sound guy, I need some more. Uh, yeah, um, and they're like, oh yeah, 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 and they it's the DFA button, isn't it? Yeah, so, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll sort that but, out for yeah. you. And you can see them not yeah. move anything, and you're like, <laughs> I know, <laughs> dude, I can hear. That's not a female only thing. I think that's just like a sound guy thing. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. But yeah, it is difficult, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think there's definitely expectations. I just don't think people question men as much. You just no. kind of assume they know what they're doing. You're like, yeah, yeah. they know, they, they've yeah. got this. And I do like the opposite side of it, though, sometimes, the surprise element. If you're in a new gig yeah. venue or something, like, as an example, I'll never forget the time I was in London. Oh, God, it was so <laughs> funny. And obviously, I'm in a big Wednesday. I'm in the band. Yeah, three yeah. Three other guys, right? Honestly, this guy must have been blind because if he'd read the room anyway you would have seen yeah. that I was the only person with a stick bag literally over my shoulder yeah. but he probably thought oh the boys are probably carrying the guitar for her she's got the lightest yeah, yeah, thing yeah. so I like walked in and I was like oh this is exciting we're playing in London mm. Ooh. Um, and uh, the sound guy like we were just in a line and the sound guy's like oh um, drummer yeah and like looked at uh, my friend Jacob mm. who's called the kid and I music he's brilliant check him out Ooh. oh Mm. Um, <laughs> and uh, Jacob just like stepped to one side and went that's our drummer and I was like hi <laughs> and he, Hello. But you, you could see on his face he was like oh sorry and he, yeah. he, I was like it's okay Yeah. but I will tell this story for years to come <laughs> exactly. but it's fine <laughs> honestly I could talk about this forever
face.